a tense escalation. Russia has accused Ukraine of trying to assassinate President Vladimir Putin in a drone attack targeting his residence in the Kremlin. Ukrainian Premier Vladimir Zelensky strongly denied the allegation, which comes as Kyiv prepares for a counteroffensive against Russian forces. We don't attack Putin or Moscow. Uh, we fight on, on our territory. We are defending our villages and cities. We don't have, you know, enough weapon for this. That's why we don't use it any, anywhere. For, for us, that is the deficit. We, we can't spend it. And we didn't attack Putin. We leave it to tribunal. Uh, William, there's been all sorts of theories put forward. Um, no one really believing the, the Russian narrative that this was an a, assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin. Where, where do you, what do you think this is building up to? Well, it certainly wasn't um, uh, an assassination attempt by the Ukrainians. Uh, I think I'm sure what President Zelensky said was true. And um, the, in any case, this is 280 miles from the nearest Ukrainian border. Uh, Moscow, there's, the air defences of Moscow have been greatly strengthened in recent weeks. Um, so, and of course, you wouldn't, if anybody wanted to do that, if, if a state like Ukraine wanted to do that, you'd pretty much work out that it's most unlikely that Putin would be sitting in the Kremlin in the night, you know, waiting to be attacked by drones. That, that, so he doesn't spend much time there, actually. So none of that made any sense. It is possible that it is a so-called false flag um, operation by the Russians. It was quite suspicious that a lot of the Russian media immediately all published the same line about it, you know, all treated it in the same way. When, when something unexpected happens in Russia, they're quite slow, actually, to coordinate their, their line. But they were very quick to do that the other night. That makes it look like a premeditated uh, Russian attempt um, uh, in order to justify scaling back their VED parades or attacking Ukraine more viciously in some way. There's an outside chance. It doesn't chance come from a position of strength, control. though, does it? it? No, it does not suggest a position of strength. And Russia is in a very... It's a very serious uh, problem now. In its, mili its military offensive has culminated. It has been running out of some of the missiles with which it tried to bring down the electricity system in Ukraine. It's, it's awaiting uh, an offensive from the Ukrainians. Um, but senselessly, it still continues a war that is thought to have killed tens of thousands of people on both sides, particularly on the Russian side, since the start of the year. Final very brief word from you, Diane. Uh, I think William is right that it's more likely to come from, from Russia and it may have been to try and, you know, garner more support for the motherland. But of course, what it shows, as I think he suggested, is that the Moscow's legendary uh, air defences can actually be breached rather easily. So the unintended consequences may actually be to make people um, rather less sure that the government uh, has their back.